Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, we're revisiting a controller that I covered just about three years ago in the early days of Red Bandana Gaming. What controller is that, you say? Well, you clicked on the video so you know. Why? Because apparently this popularity or just people searching for this controller lately have have really spiked and I did not expect that. And what is that? Well, yeah, that is the Power A enhanced wireless nano controller for the Nintendo Switch. Apparently this controller has gotten more popular over the last couple of years and people are still looking up reviews. I did cover it, like I said, early days of the, the channel and I've really liked this controller and yes, I still use it. I bet you're like, but you covered a million different controllers at this point, and you said you use the 8-bit do, or 8-bit do, whatever you want to call it, controllers, for the most part. Yes, yes I do. The 8-bit do uh, Ultimate C controller it has been my go-to one in my game room. This is the one that I use primarily in my living room when I dock it. Um, and play out there, whether it's Animal Crossing or my wife and I are playing something together. It's, this is the one. I don't normally go from room to room grabbing different controllers. I just grab what's in the living room. And this has been the standard one I've been using whew, yeah, for almost three years now since I moved into my current house. This stays out in my chair. I have these little uh, side pockets and this is where it goes. So I just pull it up and pull this out and people no drift these do not have hall effect and it's no drift yes the nano one is quite a bit smaller and as you can see it's ergonomic to a smaller hand but it doesn't really bother me yes i do have larger hands as you can clearly see but this is a solid feeling controller and doesn't bother me in the slightest. And if I do pass it off to other people, no one's complained about it. The first thing they go, wow, this it's a little smaller, but it still feels nice. It still has a good, uh, just solid build. And I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. Not one, not in the slightest, not one little issue. It's been fantastic, especially for a controller that's three years old. A lot of people complain about stick drift and this is the one thing i can say not a lick of stick drift can you have a lick of stick drift yes yes don't lick your stick drift that's just weird don't do that yeah i i, I said that don't do that but just use your controller use it don't throw it around don't damage it don't get mad yeah you're you're going to have more problems with your controller if you're rougher with them, it's just how it works. And if you're going to give it off to a kid, yeah, you're more likely to have issues with the controller because most kids are usually rougher, especially if they're anything like we were back in the 80s and the 90s. Most people I know, we were a little rougher with our stuff. Why? Because we just were. These controllers are built very durably. And after three years... I can't complain. Like I said, I still use it. The charge lasts forever. Look at that. It's been months since I've charged this. Yes. Do I play out in the living room as often as I do in the game room? No. So do I need to charge as often? No. But the standby time is incredibly-believable. Yeah, you heard me right. I said that. Incredibly-believable. Incredibly-believable. Incredibly good, very, very, very good. So yes, after three years in, if you are wondering or just questioning when you see these on store shelves, whether it's at GameStop or Walmart or Target or Best Buy, wherever you're seeing these, if you're wondering, is it good enough? Is it going to last? Yes, right here. Shows you right here. I've been playing with this controller for years, literally three years now. And normally when I get a new controller, if I'm not a big fan of it, I go back to the one that I like. And since I've got that 8-bit do Ultimate C, that's been my go-to one, except for this one. I can honestly say these have been my two go-to controllers. 
Shocking, huh? And I really like the color design. I know they have different ones, but I really like the gray one with the, the red and blue accents. Why? Because it reminds me of the Switch. That's why they did it. But if you're wondering, yes, it's definitely worth it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video uh, catching back up on this three-year-old controller and whether or not it's still worth it after being out for so long, but they're still on store shelves. So that should tell you something. They haven't revised it. They haven't done anything spectacular to it. It's, yeah, it's probably got some new parts compared to, you know, three years ago, but it's still worth it. Go ahead, pick it up. I can definitely recommend this controller. So there you go. Look, ah, nice. <laughs> so after three years, thumbs up. So if you have any questions about it, drop your comments in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer whatever I can, especially since I've used it again for three years. Three years. Yes. And I will gladly answer whatever ever questions you have if you are hey if you're one of those people that's at a store right now watching this video scrolling right through it's like is it worth it yes it's worth it buy it go ahead you'll enjoy it thank you there you go <laughs> thank you so much if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video hopefully this helped you out god bless you all like we always say be legendary thanks again